This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. If you're not familiar with them, they make really useful gear that you'll want to carry and use every day. They have things like the bit bar, which is a pocket screwdriver with a bit selection hidden in the handle, or the TPT and TPT slide, which are utility knives that also have tools built in. And they also have pins like the TI Arto EDC, which works with over 750 inserts. And my favorite, the TI Pocket Pro. They are all made out of titanium and built really, really well. To learn more about Big Idea Design, use the links in the description down below, and you can also use coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50. And if you do so, you'll help support the show. Welcome back. It's been a minute since we've done a true EDC Weekly. The last EDC Weekly video I did was me updating my own EDC, and then I took a week off. And then last week I was in Greenville, South Carolina doing the lever gear video. That was a kind of an unexpected thing. It was a last minute idea. And uh, I went there and they made me this nice custom little tool card. They have the bit vault coming out. If you've not seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out. It was a lot of fun and I think it's more representative of what I would like to do with this channel. Go to the makers and show off their stuff. Have them talk about it, not necessarily me telling you everything about it because they're definitely more knowledgeable about the product than I am. It made me be a little more creative with a camera. I got outside of this office, which is something I don't get to do very often. It was just a lot of fun. Also, I've done a lot of giveaways for these EDC weeklies lately. I want to keep with that theme and do another giveaway. And this time, since I've got a spare, I'm going to give away an Ever Ratchet. I actually backed this on Indiegogo. I ended up getting two titanium ones, which was not the plan. I wanted to get a titanium and a stainless steel one. That didn't happen because I'm an idiot and ordered two titaniums. So I'm gonna get rid of the plain one, not the one with the honeycomb pattern because the honeycomb pattern is the one that I selected specifically. And I will explain how you can win this Ever Ratchet somewhere in this video. Also, I heard from a little bird that I'll be getting a special edition Ever Ratchet very, very soon. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you want me to do a little bit of a deep dive on the Ever Ratchet, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I've got one, two, and then three of these Ever Ratchets and I've actually never done anything on it. Just as a refresher, if you have not entered your submission this month, you can resubmit the same submission as you did last month. I don't care. That doesn't matter. All you have to do is submit. And what you're doing when you submit is submitting to enter into the giveaway, which is a key smart rugged, a big idea design titanium pocket tool, a Griffin pocket tool, a yellow birch outfitters pocket organizer, a hitch and timber card caddy, and a Rovi Von Aurora flashlight. There are different assortments, so it's not the same exact giveaway every single month, but it's just those six items. And uh, I'll be trying to maybe add to that giveaway starting next month. But if you want to be entered to win that, just go to edcw.co, submit your EDC, and that's it. If you're featured, you get an additional entry. That's the whole deal. This week, there's no theme. These are just five awesome everyday carries. Let's do the thing. All right, so we're gonna try something a little different this time. I'm gonna try to do this live, not live in the sense that we're doing the show live, but I'm gonna take you through the products live. So it is gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to, but if I don't like this or you don't like this, then we'll go back to the old form, whatever. So first up, we have a submission from Edward or Eddie Lindsay, and this one I like because of the leather theme. It's very put together. It's brown leather, which I love. It's got a nice patina to it and just solid gear all around. And first up, we have the Rob Brazum leather journal cover, which I'm not familiar with that brand, so I may not be pronouncing it correctly. But inside that, he has a black Field Notes notebook as well as a Zebra F-XMD pen with a Fisher Space Pen refill. And then next to that, the flashlight you see pictured here is the Raylite TI LAN AA flashlight or LAN AA flashlight. And his watch of choice is the Filson Scout watch. The knife you see pictured is the Benchmade Anthem knife. And then finally in the top right corner is a leather wallet. He says this is a bifold wallet his wife picked up for him when she was in Chile. There you go. Very, very nice setup. It's very clean, very put together. I love that patina. I think that leather journal cover is actually black leather or really, really dark brown. And just the inside is what's brown. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I think that's that's how it is. There is an overall theme here of brown, black, and silver, which is kind of what I carry most of the time. Anyway, thank you, Eddie. This is a really, really nice setup. He didn't have anything to say about it other than the wallet is what his wife got for him in Chile, and that's, that's all he had to say. So thanks, Eddie. You and I have a second entry in the December giveaway. 
and that feels so weird to say, how is it already the end of the year? How? How? Next up is a submission from Andrew E. It's really all we have to go on or ale.green over on Instagram. And I shared this one actually over on the website today, which is Wednesday as of recording this. And uh, there was also nothing said about this one. He shared nothing about it whatsoever other than what's inside the photo. And the reason I selected this other than it being a really nice photo is because most of the gear in this photo is actually handmade goods or American made goods. They're all made here in the US except for I believe the watch. Probably the strap too. The first up is the Spectrum Energetics Tan Tool Junior. That's the little pry tool you see there with the bottle opener and hex wrenches on it. And above that is the Guarded Goods Warden Wallet, which is a custom version of that, or at least he says it's customized, I believe, in probably the thread color. His notebook cover of choice here is the One Star Leather Goods Lecterm 1917 notebook cover. And inside that is a Lecterm 1917 notebook. This is designed specifically for that notebook. On top of the notebook are two pins. They are both Keras Customs. One is the Bolt Pilot G2 pin, and the other is the Retract. And then, of course, beside that is his Seiko watch. He said it was an SKX009, but it looked more like a 007 to me because of the navy and the red. I could be wrong, and if there is a way to tell other than the colors and the way the face actually looks, then let me know, because I'd like to know. I'm just going on what I've seen before here on the show. And attached to that is a red NATO watch strap, which doesn't have a brand. To the left of that is the Yellow Birch Outfitters pocket organizer. This is the classic carry in Coyote Tan. And then finally to the left of the photo, which he didn't really mention at all, is the leather and brass keychain. Um, you can find those really generically all over the place. They come in a bunch of different configurations from a million different brands. And again, Andrew really did not have anything to say about this photo, which is unfortunate because I like to hear how you guys carry the stuff or why you carry stuff, why you may select mostly American made goods, whether you're being patriotic or um, just because you like the stuff, maybe you feel it's higher quality, whatever. I like to hear your opinion on that. So it is a little unfortunate when I don't get a description, but it's okay. It's not required, so don't feel bad. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Andrew. I love this carry, and you now have a second entry into the December giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Ethan. Just Ethan. And I believe his username over on the website is Sierra117. But there is actually a description for this one, so let's get started. First up here, we have the Orbit Key Key Organizer, and this is in the tan color. And attached to that is actually the Orbit Key Ring and Clip. If you didn't know, Orbit Key makes a whole lot more than just the key organizer. They make a bunch of tools that go into it, as well as carabiners and key rings and other stuff. They sent all of that stuff to me. Everything they have, they sent to me. It's in a box. I just haven't had a chance to get to it. So eventually, I will feature Orbit Key as well as all the stuff they carry in addition to the organizer. And I will be doing a roundup of all the different types of key organizers, the ones that I prefer. So stay tuned for that. It's probably going to happen sometime next year. But yeah, just know that it's coming. Also attached to this key ring is the James brand Elko knife, which is a stonewashed titanium. And then also two County Com pill containers. One is the Pico Pool in polycarbonate, and then the other is the Pico Pool XL in titanium. In the top left of the photo is the Belroy Notebook Cover Mini in cocoa. And inside that there is a Field Notes Black Edition as well as the Expedition, that is the orange. And below that we have the Belroy Wallet. That is the Belroy Note Sleeve Wallet. And next to that, is the County Com stainless steel tin with Topo design. To write in those notebooks, he actually has a Fisher Space Pen bullet in matte black with a clip. And not pictured here is his iPhone 10, which he carries in a mouse limitless 2.0 case with a walnut inlay. And I believe that's how it's pronounced, mouse, M-O-U-S. Um, I've seen their advertisements everywhere. I've never actually heard the brand name pronounced. In the bottom right of the photo is Burt's Bees lip balm, as well as a jet lighter, which is a butane lighter. He also carries a fidget cube. Around that, you also see a wooden bead bracelet. And then his coin you see here is the JL Lawson & Co. Copper, the decision maker coin. It says it's decidedly so on one side. The other side says something along the lines of, uh, your choice is ill-advised or something. And the very last thing in the photo, which is kind of turned a little bit, you can't see it very well, is the Royal Australian Army Rising Sun lapel pin. And that's it for this one. And really, really solid carry. But here's the thing. He says it right off the rip. This is his first true everyday carry that he's actually pictured. Ethan says, this is my first proper EDC loadout, and I really want to expand it. Just got to find the money. 
I generally carry a bag, Peak Design Everyday Series, and put most of my stuff in there. The items displayed in the picture generally go in my pockets or in my belt pouch. I carry a lot of extra stuff in my bag that isn't on display. For example, a water bottle, notebooks, pencil case, Nintendo Switch camera if I'm carrying various tech accessories like cables and charging bricks, sunglasses, etc. I also haven't included my necklace, dog tags, and ID card as that has sensitive information on it. I also carry a lot of gear that I leave at work. I'm a doctor. Also, where I live in Australia, there are very strict rules surrounding certain things, particularly around weapons, so I don't carry a proper pocket knife as you can get arrested for weapon offenses. And let me just say the Elko knife is a proper knife. It doesn't have to be a 6, 10 inch blade. It doesn't have to be any size. Any knife is a proper knife. It's fine. If it cuts, it's a knife. So don't feel like the Elko isn't a fantastic knife. I've never used one. I'd like to, but I got enough stuff and enough knives right now, enough to go through for the moment. But the Elko knife is a solid, solid knife. It's like a classic SD without all the tools on it, but I think probably a little higher quality. Though, if I did have the option, I would choose either the James Brand Chapter Knife in Titanium or the Benchmade Mini Griptilian 556. The County Knife from, from James Brand is the one that I'm eyeing all the time because one, it's a slip joint, and two, that wooden handle is so, so nice. The next couple of additions I'm looking to add to my EDC are the Olay S1R2 in titanium winter edition. That blasted titanium is solid. The Leatherman Wave Plus in black, the Peak Design Travel Series, and the Tech Pouch and Wash Pouch. I'm also looking at some of the big ideas design products, specifically their TPT slide and the TI Click EDC pin. It also says, I also enjoy, in addition to EDC, Techwear, highly functional advanced fabrics because they're like EDC in a clothing form. Some of my favorite brands are Outlet NYC, Solomon, Smart Wool, Darn Tough, Arcteryx, and a few others. Some of the issues of living in Australia that affects my EDC is things like exorbitant shipping prices. We Aussies have to import a great deal of things because most shops won't stock the things that we're after and if they do stock them, they're generally very overpriced. Isn't it crazy that it's something to complain about 10 million products being available? Like, I'm not ragging on you, but like, that just shows you like how much the world has changed in the last 10 years. Like, I was almost afraid to buy from Amazon when I was in high school and now, the first thing that comes to my mind is Amazon. If I want to buy something, I go to Amazon. And if it's not on Amazon, I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to pay shipping somewhere. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. We're we're all spoiled now. Even, even you Aussies, you're spoiled. Maybe not as much as us, but you're spoiled. You're spoiled. And we can't import from Amazon US because they block shipping to Australia and redirect you to amazon.com.au site. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I really enjoy the channel and keep up the good work. Cheers. Ethan. Thanks, Ethan. And if this is your baseline, your very first EDC, there is nowhere to go but up. Like, of course, you could like swap all this stuff out for budget gear and, and get really cheap alternatives to everything. And uh, you could step down, but I don't believe you're going to do that. I think you're going to continue to have an awesome carry. And this one is really, really sick. There's some stuff on here that I'm a little jealous of, like that Elko knife. You, you downplayed it, but the Elko knife is sick. The next mission comes from Brad. And Brad shared this the reason i selected it is the wood background so shoot me no i'm just kidding it is the knife that is in this picture uh i am dying for one of these knives not this one in particular but something very very similar these knives are high 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 up on my list first up the first thing up here on the list is the great eastern cutlery number 44 buffalo jack gun stock and that one does have the casing on the scale that's really the only thing about this knife that I don't particularly love, but other than that, these Northfield knives from Great Eastern Cutlery are outstanding, and I really, really want one. That's probably next on my list of something to buy, or a Lion Steel uh, with a clip point, or maybe a Benchmade Proper with a clip point, but a traditional knife with a clip point is the next purchase for sure. Below that, you see the Victorinox Classic SD in red, and then the flashlight to the bottom left of the photo is the Peak Tiger flashlight, which I'd not ever heard of. Uh, but next to that is the pin that you see, is the Traveler's Company Brass Bullet Pin. When I first saw this, I thought it was the pencil I just picked up, which is also from the Traveler's Company, or Midori. You probably may know Midori for Midori Notebook. Um, this is the same company that makes these pencils and pins. I didn't know they made it in a pin form, but that is very much like a Fisher Space Pin Bullet. Um, it also comes in a pencil. So there's your, your lesson for the day. Underneath both of those things is the Volcano Goods waxed canvas wallet. And the watch you see pictured here is the Seiko 5 SNK809 with a leather watch band. And then at the bottom of the photo is the Scout Leather Company pocket protector. 
And then finally, not pictured in this photo is the phone used to take the photo, and that is the iPhone 7. And Brad says, I previously carried more modern style items until I saw the GEC 44. It reminded me of my grandpa's knife, and I knew I had to carry one. I grew up in Hawaii, learning a lot of my love of outdoors and hunting from my grandpa. Since there was such a big military presence on the islands during World War II, most of the outdoor gear that we used was surplus military, AKA a lot of heavy canvas leather and brass. Most of the items in my carry remind me of those good old days. The two most commonly used pieces are the Peak Iger and the Victorinox Classic. The Iger isn't the latest, greatest light out there, but I love to twist the control brightness and it's super robust. I've always carried one form of Swiss Army knife since I was a kid and the Classic's scissors, tweezers, and nail file have come in handy on many occasions. Love the channel, keep up the good work. Thank you, Brad, and I can totally, totally get that. Um, like I said, I went through my grandfather's, my late grandfather's knife collection recently. Uh, not the one that passed away recently, the one that passed away uh, several years ago. I went through his old knife collection and there were so many good finds in there. There were two tree brand or Boker traditional knives, a case Sodbuster Jr. that has not been out of the package yet. It was 1988, I believe. And there was also another Klein knife, uh, which was a lockback traditional and such great finds. And it's made me really, truly want to start carrying a bunch of traditional knives instead of these big modern carries. So it's very interesting and I love hearing that. So thank you for sharing. And thank you for sharing the photo, Brad. You now have a second entry into the December giveaway. The fifth and final submission this week comes from Mark B. And this one is a bit of a change of pace. And you can find Mark B over on Instagram at markbphoto underscore. But first up here, the watch featured in the center of the photo is the Citizen EcoDrive Avion watch. The knife featured to the right of the photo is the Kershaw Link. And then he also carries a Leatherman Juice C2. Attached to the Leatherman Juice C2 is the Olite i3e EOS, and then also below that is a KeySmart, as well as his Apple AirPods. Something a little funky going on with the whites there, clipped. Underneath a few of the items here are his Mechanics leather gloves, and on top of that is a generic paracord bracelet. And finally, to the far left of the photo is his leather wallet, which has a brand there on it. He doesn't list it, but I can't really make out what it says. S-I-L... B, <laughs> I can't, can't tell, something Silberman Brown? I don't know, but he says a few things about this wallet in his description. Mark says, the generic wallet I have came from a hospital gift shit and was given to me after he passed. I don't know what that means. The Olight I got after watching you on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram as Mark B Photo or that dude underscore Mark. So, don't really know what the story of the wallet is, but there you go. Nice carry, it's a real practical carry. Like, I feel like this stuff actually gets used, which isn't always the case with some of these submissions that I get, but anyway, thank you for sharing, Mark. You now have a second entry into the December giveaway. I should probably tell you how you can win this right here, the Ever Ratchet from Gear Infusion. We're gonna do it just like I've done several of the past giveaways, but instead of commenting a number and guessing between one and a thousand, I'm actually gonna do it as a, an actual comment. Tell me how you would use a pry tool in your EDC because that's one of the questions I get a lot about these pry tools. What do people use them for? What would you use this pry tool for? So the best answer I will choose as the winner. Whatever piques my interest the most. Dear God, what have I done? All right, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. Thank you guys for sticking around. We hit 40,000 subscribers last week. We passed 41,000 just the other day and we're coming up on 10,000 Instagram followers now. That's, it's insane. Six months is actually tomorrow. This channel is six months old on Friday this week, which is insane. I have no one to thank but you guys, and just keep being awesome. But if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you want to support the channel, everything mentioned in this video will be linked down below. If you use one of those links to purchase an item, it helps support the show. We get a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't charge you anything extra. So you just help the show out by buying the stuff you were gonna buy anyway. And if you wanna help additionally, you can go to patreon.com forward slash best damn EDC. If you wanna find us around the web, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at best damn EDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on. 
try some Lagavulin because this stuff is amazing. It is the best liquid known to man. Maybe. I don't know. But it's my favorite beverage. By far. Like, this is out of this world. So good. So good. If you ever want to do anything nice for me, bottle of Lagavulin. That's all I ask for in this world. I could live off it. <laughs> See you guys. Ahem. <clears throat>